And now to the latest on the man accused of killing Deputy Dolly Wall. If Robert Solis was in court today, a judge ordered him held on no bond. Meanwhile, tonight we are getting new details about his criminal past. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum spoke with Solis's ex-wife and their son, Joel. Keith, I found this to be one of the more interesting interviews I've done in recent memory. Sort of a lot to unpack, but the main message is clear tonight. We tried to do something about this guy, and nobody would listen. Robert Solis, considered enemy number one, the suspected killer of Deputy Sandeep Dhaliwal, has been dangerous for years. It's documented. He had me, uh, I was brainwashed. He had me, like, um, I couldn't order pizzas. I was scared to do anything. Of course, his former common-law wife and his biological son don't need paperwork to prove it. They lived it. He was both physically and mentally abusive, not just to me, but to my other younger brothers. But it's the more immediate past these two are now interested in recounting for their first television interview. They want you to know they tried, and they say the system's broken. I started calling uh, pro officer, Crime Stoppers, HPD, uh, Portman County Sheriff. The way Melissa and son Robert Pertee tell it, nobody did anything to get Robert Solis off the streets, even with a parole violation warrant for his arrest dating back to early 2017, even though his own parole officer knew he had that warrant and knew where he lived. I was hand, trying to hand this guy over on a silver platter. It was the parole officer's fault. It's, complete, it's the complete incompetence of the parole officers, these people who are supposed to be supervising these violent criminals reintegration back into society they're not they're not doing their job and they're not following through so the family says we did what we could tdcj tonight says we're not a law enforcement organization when an arrest warrant is issued we depend on local law enforcement parole officers do not have arrest powers protocol dictates that parole officers when they get tips forward them to law enforcement we ask specifically did that happen in this case tdcj says they'll get back to us we'll make sure they do we're live in the heights tonight i'm joel eisenbaum kprc channel 2 news